Hey, uh, I want to stop here, Kurt, and make mention of the fact that Mike Tanay and Don West were both recently announced to be joining the Impact Hall of Fame. We know Don has has passed, but man, how cool is it that both of these guys are going to be recognized in the Impact Hall of Fame? It's awesome. They were the voices of TNA for so many years. I absolutely love those guys. I thought, you know, they they um they were just as good. I hate to say this, but they were just as good as JR and Jerry the King at one point. I yeah. mean, they were just as effective. I thought they were great. They were awesome. Don West brought so much energy, and so did Tanae, but Don had that that hot flavor, right? It's very loud. And then to, and then you think about Mike Tanae, I mean, the professor. He knows yeah, the holds. Yeah. He, he was knows smooth. The yeah. F fantastic combination. Uh, we go back to the torch. Style soon made a comeback, throws Angle into the ladder at 10 minutes. Angle bled from his forehead again. Man, you're getting you're getting kind of cracked open here and there in these matches. I think my stitches popped open again here. Okay. Style climbs the ladder. Angle gave Styles an Olympic slam off the ladder. With Styles down, Angle climbs the ladder. Once he touched the metal, Styles tipped the ladder over and Angle crashed in the mat. So let's pause right here. This is the part where you're like, shit, I don't want to be doing these ladder matches. Now they're, <laughs> you know, they're tossing you off of them. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, this is the last thing I want to do in a match is, is fall off the ladder and land on my head. <laughs> right, because all you need is another broken freaking neck. Uh, so there you go. You crashed to the mat. Charmel yanks on Styles' legs, but he kicks her off and springboarded into the ring with a flying forearm. Joe goes after Booker at ringside. Uh, Charmel sets the black bat on the ring apron for, for Booker to use as Joe turns to her. Booker hits Joe with the bat. Styles, meanwhile, climbs the ladder, but the ladder was wobbly and unstable. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Angle met him at the top of the wobbly ladder. The man who shall not be named's music plays. Okay, I think we figured out who that is. The lights go out. Don West says, is he here? Could it be? Styles bashed Angle with a guitar and then grabbed the metal chair, uh, the, the, the gold medal, should I say, to win the match. Winner AJ Styles in 12 minutes. Star rating two and three quarters. Torch says That's some good. That's for Angle and AJ. Yeah, in a ladder match, two and three quarters. Who's booking this? Some good sequences and big spots. It's the type of match that deserves to be an occasional pay-per-view match, not a TV main event that won't draw any more of a rating than anything else they could have hyped adequately, minus the latter. I mean, Kurt, my goodness, all these big spots, all these bumps, this couldn't have been fun for you. No, no, it wasn't. And uh, I, I just don't know why they didn't trust AJ and I to have a straight-up ladder match without anybody involved. Uh, it's just, I just thought the booking was not was subpar at this point. You think about, I think they were thinking too much. Here's my, here's the point I want to make here. We are looking back on your career and you just said at the beginning of the show, Paul, I signed a contract. So I'm showing up every night, every impact, every pay-per-view, and I'm going to wrestle to earn the money but they're putting you in ladder matches. You're getting busted open. You're falling from the top of the ladder to the mat. You're getting hit in the head with, you know, gimmicked guitars that still cut you open. I mean, do you think uh, like all this stuff, you, you wonder why the wear and tear affected you over time. But as we go back and look at your career, you, you start to put it together. Of, of uh, Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I look it back, you know, I, I'll be honest with you when they were booking these matches, I never thought about, the guys that were going to come out the end and kind of, you know, add to the match or take away from the match and all that stuff. I just like, I, I didn't really, I didn't really look at it till I stepped out of the ring and retired and looked back and said, gosh, man, that booking was not good. I don't know why they did this, why they did that. It's just, you know, you, you when you step away from it and you look back in, you say, man, there's some stupid shit they did here. You know? Well, not only that, you were going so hard and so fast for so long, and it's no wonder the toll that it took on your body over time. Well, I that's just how I am, and that's that's how I'm, I was always gonna be. I mean, there you can't change a person uh, with their work ethic. I I've always had incredible work ethic, and I was always gonna give everything I had every match.